Well, flood warnings, thunderstorm warnings, and high fire danger warnings are all notifications we are familiar with when severe weather hits. It can be easy, though, to get really tired of those alerts. Yeah. Some people even turn them off. Mm -hmm. But KCAL meteorologist Paul Deano is here to talk about why it is so important to pay attention, Paul. Yeah, so many notifications on our phone. It's kind of notification fatigue, mm -hmm. but uh, when, it, when a weather event happens, we can get a lot of warnings in pretty short order. Uh, those alerts, those warnings are designed to protect you in dangerous situations, uh, perhaps even potentially saving your life, like what we just saw happen in Texas and with the fires that we've had around here. Uh, we're joined by Ariel Cohen. He is the meteorologist in charge at our local National Weather Service office uh, based in Oxnard. Uh, Ariel, thanks for your time this morning. Uh, so many alerts, so many things happening, and frankly, our phone has become an extension of our brain, and we get notified so much. When somebody gets a weather alert, let's focus on weather. How should people react? How do you want the public to react? I want everyone to keep in mind this very basic principle. The cost of not being prepared when bad weather strikes is often far greater than the cost of being overprepared. And when we have these warnings and alerts that are coming out, and let's say that you don't end up experiencing the hazardous weather, consider yourself in a very fortunate situation because weather is very often associated with low predictability. It can be very unpredictable. And with all the uncertainties that come with it, and we're anticipating the possibility for destructive weather to occur, those extra steps that you may take to be prepared and potentially overprepared can make the difference between life and death. All right, Ariel, Ariel, many of you, many folks remember you because you were an integral part in all the fire briefings that we talked about uh, on a regular basis uh, back in January and February. Uh, are there specific alerts that you want viewers to pay more attention to over others? Is there a hierarchy that you would like to, to tell our viewers about as to the ones that, hey, you know, this one is especially serious? It, it really comes down to being in touch, in tune with the messaging that comes out long <clears throat> before bad weather strikes. When we're issuing watches and warnings, those are critical alerts to let you know that our confidence is high enough that destructive weather is either imminent or is likely to occur in a short amount of time. But sometimes it takes days to prepare in advance for destructive weather ranging from severe thunderstorms to rapidly spreading wildfires or tornadoes or extremely heavy rain. And so being aware, the more time that you are processing the potential for destructive weather and getting in touch with the reality that things could change very quickly is a very important time period to taking those steps to get your, your, your emergency supply kit ready, have multiple ways, come up with a plan that involves multiple ways to, to protect you and your family when it comes to escape routes for evacuations, when it comes to finding a safe place if destructive weather comes. Because sometimes, or in, in many circumstances, we're not going to be certain about destructive weather happening in your location until right before it occurs or right as it occurs. So exactly. when we're communicating with uncertainty days in advance, that's important time that you can prepare, important time you can take to be preparing, especially if you're vulnerable, especially if the cost of being underprepared is so great for you. And those extra steps that you take to be ready, again, can make the difference between life and death. All right, Ariel Cohen, meteorologist in charge from the National Weather Service office here in Oxnard, Southern California. Appreciate it. Yeah, getting things done in advance so when the warning comes so you can act quickly rather than having to prepare right at the last minute. I think that's, uh, that's sage advice. We appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thank you.